which uh, this all this talking will probably be me distracting myself from all that's going on here unless I'm focusing on it but I'll be recording and cooking at the same time I'm not helping myself deal with this appropriately if I do that so I'm going to put the phone down uh, well at least stop recording anyway I might have some YouTube playing in the background yeah I, I heard this uh, watching this video about a noise addiction that was actually quite interesting I wonder if I've got I wonder if I, um, I uh, have that to maybe not I'm not saying that just to be like oh my god yeah I've got this problem too yeah you can relate but well, maybe ah it's getting hot in here I might take I might take my top off but not focus on looking at my stomach even though it's bloated yeah alright anyway I'm gonna um, put the camera down and I need to focus on this cooking open the window maybe take my top off it's getting hot it really is maybe even open it uh, you know what? Nah, never mind. Nah. Alright, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna put the YouTube video on, chill out, relax, wind down. I say that rather ironically as I'm full swing in a massive cooking session, but yeah. 8.52 pm, this is what's going on. They're all cooking. This is absolutely no joke. And this session's gonna be full swing. I didn't even know the rice was that cooked because I'm paying them to go out my way to pay attention to full things at the same time. It seems like the past is pretty much done. I've had one at the moment. But yeah, I'm doing that and filming. Mental. It's possible though. Oh, that's, that's done. I need to sit there. I also need to put the broccoli up. I forgot about that, but yeah, I'll get onto that. But anyway, I'm going to uh, turn the camera and keep going. It's going to a quick update as to what's going on. So that this cooking four stations at the same time is more manageable. I put these at a low heat so I can deal with them more easily, cook slower so that they're not burning as I'm here monitoring these things and watching YouTube and I'm recording for YouTube or to put on the uh, as it makes a YouTube video eventually. Oh look at that it started uh, frying a bit. Yeah here we go. That one's frying a bit more this one nah, not really but anyway that explains why this one's for the top left one and this one's for the bottom left one hmm. is that a higher heat but i think there's more chicken there so that's probably right but anyway i'm uh, gonna be uh, cut the camera off i can't seem to find the sieve so i'm just gonna have to use this the sieve part of the spoon to um, get everything out with but get all the pasta out without as little water content as possible. It is 8.58 water on the wall. So definitely making progress. That's frying for that's frying for so getting there got three stations now to deal with having to drain it for water then yeah definitely it's, it's going well. Look at that 460 basically like, not even halfway we're getting all this so I predict it's going to be over a kilo. Let's see if that's the case. Yeah, look at that. It's some left hand action going there. I usually dish out my right. But yeah. Hey, if I were to get injured, hurt my right hand. Doing it out of fear. Maybe I, I think. But I'll tell you some cognitive with both hands as well. In the kitchen. Look at that. Maybe you won't be a kilo. I'm not sure. You might actually start to, start to rethink that statement, that prediction. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, I'll try. Remember what I said? 
rushing is a choice. It definitely is. I can even see that now. Plus, I'm feeling a bit thirsty. Oh, mm -hmm. no, it's some pasta. It's in the water. The pasta is going into the white rice. That might taste a bit odd now. Nearly done. Anyway. Oh, this is so 
told me it's a lot easier to deal with. Imagine if I wasn't doing all this at once, then I might have actually, for the rest of my life, just been cooking with spitting pots of oil. Nope, I can cook it at a lot of and it's fine. Well, what do you know? I've learned that at uh, 21. I've never cooked with oil. Probably that Russian mentality, trying to get it done as quickly as possible, because I know how long I've been cooking for. Hours and hours, like three hours. It's probably been over one hour or 45 minutes at least. I can't find out. It's been going on 57 minutes, and that's the time. Around about nine, uh, nine past nine. Yeah, I wouldn't find it unnecessarily difficult to. No, I might do if I don't turn the alarms off, allow myself to get eight solid eight hours. But anyway, I'm going to carry on with cooking. Stir the pan stock, then cut the chicken, then prepare the broccoli, or maybe even do the broccoli now because it's this really delicious. Here, it's chilly, so I'll do that now and then. Get on with the rest of it. Nine past nine, I've just seen that the rice is done. That might be a bit wet or a bit dry, I don't know. It seems like it's gonna be a bit dry, honestly. Yeah, it's a little bit. Well, there's no one doing that. Encouraging can help us not be drinking a lot of water anyway. But at least I know. I don't know how many grams that was, probably like 5 or 10, 5 to 10, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with the cooking. At least that's one less station to do it. I was thinking about convenience. I just washed the um, spoon I used to dish out of beef to stir the pan up. It's, it's closer to me than the broccoli is, and it's more in the way, so I'll just deal with that now. And then I'll deal with the broccoli and the chicken in that order. I actually want to try some now, that's really quite tasty, that's awesome. Yeah, I might do, why not? There you go. Mmm. Wow. I'll wash this. I have the rest of this and then get back. I'll stir it in. It's all good now, but yeah. I'll get back home with the rest of it after having this. Well, I didn't weigh that, but it's fine. I'd say I like all of that one. That's probably like 15 grams. 15, 20 grams. That pasta bake. Wow, I really like that taste. But I might not say that it tastes so good. Oh, wow. Oh, that was nice. I feel full, so I could definitely do it. I feel the chicken is on too high heat, so I'm telling you that's really good. I've washed the spoon, and then you're back into it. Now, to do with the broccoli, I'll we'll get that pasta. Got one of one of the holes. Now I think we'll get some massive bags of broccoli. I'll add a like half into the pasta bacon and half into the rice and curry. That curry is going to take a few tasty, I think. I did zero in, but yeah, that's kind of how much I did. So it seems. Yeah, that looks quite accurate. I don't think I need to weigh that again, but I can just to make sure. Yeah, I, I should just to make sure that that's the right amount. It said 316 grams on the way here. Something smells like it's burning. Oh, that, yeah, that was fine. Something smells like it's burning. Right, I've got to tend to the beef and the chicken. Yeah, that's definitely starting to burn. I'm taking out the fire. Alright, I'm gonna prepare that second batch of chicken. After I've um, 
get rid of the refund to match chicken on the file. I've turned it off. Well, it's still for people, obviously. So, I've got to take that off now. Um, I'll just take it a few minutes. I don't know if you can. But I just put the cost to do it now. I'm going to do it. Definitely pretty cool. Actually quite flavoured. Oh no, that's a bit raw there. Maybe it's just a bone, I don't know. I have to cut that off. Mm. Alright. I'll try one of the best bad pieces. Reminds me of mince meat. 
I want a bit now. I should try this one. Uh, actually, the less, the more I eat now, the less I have. I've got plenty of chicken as well. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get back to cooking. But yeah, the, the beef is fine. But I've got the broccoli and the chicken. So the last batch of chicken, and then I'm basically completely done. So I've got this to add into the beef as well. After I do the chicken and the broccoli, I'll do the broccoli in this maybe. Get something smaller. It's more to wash. Maybe use this. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get on with it. I've just noticed yet again I'm rushing. I don't need to rush for that is a choice. It's almost 10 o'clock now. It's 26 past 9. Let's look up on the wall. So sleeping at 10 is not happening. Look how much you got. I just put the Anyway, this is the size of the chicken. So I'm gonna cook that now in the same oil I fried the chicken in. So there's no contamination with beef and chicken. I think that's how it works. That might be unsafe to eat if I fry it in the beef oil. But in the past, it's been fine. It's a high heat. But yeah, this is ready to go. And the chicken is about halfway done. So that car is gonna be coming up pretty soon. I'm gonna weigh that at the boil prepared. It took a while to boil because it was a uh, lot cold water in there. I don't think it didn't take so long to boil. I knew it would take longer than a hot water, so but yeah. Oh well, that's that done. Bear in mind, that's full. 
um, that's what both the pasta and the curry if you cut into smaller pieces but hey there you go Hydration, that's the power of dehydration. I made a very good video about the power of dehydration under that time a year ago. I don't remember why I said no, but yeah, the cost of the cycle of yoga has just been there. I still haven't even had that yet. So I can expect a little bit, but it's going to happen sometimes anyway, so that's fine. Uh, weight gain from all this extra eating I'm doing, I've been doing by cooking, but uh, that's fine. There's never a time when I wouldn't be able to further achieve my goals when I'm alive anyway. So yeah, it's cool. It'll happen sometimes. It's just realistic. I can't be more strict with it, but sometimes I think you don't want the discipline. Yeah, the discipline. I think I'll watch that kind of documentary now, why not? As I wait for the chicken to cook. Cut the broccoli in the meantime, but I'm passing this bottle of virgin headache, I should take it easier. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna chill and uh, eventually get some sleep. It's definitely gonna be refreshed out of all this. I mean, look at how I look now. This is what I'm looking like saying all this. We're doing a lot of talking, a lot of cooking, so yeah. Alright, I'm gonna cut the camera off and then. Uh, should I watch that documentary that day in the life part one? All the stuff about doing what you need to do to really give up more idea what you're going to to just go down the path you want to go down, more generally speaking, through the lens of bodybuilding. Yeah, I'm done talking for now anyway. Also, I think I might actually make an extra note, but yeah, after making this clip immediately, but yeah, but immediately after this clip, but I'm done for now as far as I'm aware. I was saying I didn't remember the guy's name, but it's Mike Polsonello, apparently. And that's what I read anyway. I might have been saying that wrong. Apologies if I have, but yeah, that was the guy. I remember saying that a few days ago. I don't remember the guy's surname, but yeah. All right, on to watching it. Time tracking purposes, it's 9.53 and I've been cooking for one hour, 43 minutes. Yeah, that's definitely starting to burn. I'm taking out the fire. All right, I'm gonna put that second batch of chicken. 